What is going on fellow farmers? Welcome back to another map tour with your boy CJ Farms right here on FS22. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click off so you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live. And if you want to get your hands on some amazing and awesome giant software gear and help support the CJ Farms YouTube channel in the process, be sure to check out the links below in the description with the blue diamonds beside it. That being said, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and enjoy the show. fellow farmers welcome back to another map tour today we're going to be having a look at uh maypole farm made by cavalier roy big shout out to cavalier roy for this map man uh we're going to read the description here guys very short description this is a fictional irish map that offers vast amounts of forestry as well as arable farming with multiple farms spread around the map for those who like to spread out or play multiplayer farmyards are fully customizable so you can demolish all sheds and barns, cut away all hedges, trees, and remove all walls, fences, and gates. There's 128 fields. Wow. All include missions and seven farms. So big shout out to Cavalier Roy for this map. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and let's pop up and have a look here real quick as we always do. And are we next to a vehicle shop? It's a very nice map. It's a very, very nice map. It's very nice. A lot of forestry going on out here. A lot of forestry and farming. Let's go ahead and pop back down. Are we, are we like right next to a vehicle shop? We are. This reminds me of the map tour that we did the other day. We were right next to the vehicle shop and we started like right here. Um, okay. Um, let me pop back up here real quick, guys. If I can put, there we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, it looks a lot like the map we did the other day, but nonetheless, it's a nice map. It's very beautiful, uh, as you guys can see. Let's pop back down, and let's go ahead before we go into the into the to the map. Let's go ahead and go to uh, our equipment, our own equipment. See what we own. So it looks like we own quite a bit of equipment here. Uh, so small tractors. We're gonna own a Fendant Vario 314, a Massey Ferguson uh, 5S145, and a Barua. 6105 so this is new right here i mean this has obviously been in the game for a while but this is new on the map i've never seen this on one of the maps before uh that does come with the erlingrot map though all right medium tractors we own the vulture 8750 we also own a wheel loader a claws torian 1511 for cars we own the pickup 1986 we also own the elho um scorpio 550 uh, stone picker we own the Kuhn DC-401 subsolar. We also uh, have a cedar here, which is the Kuhn TF-1512. Fertilizer spreader. We got the Bredo K-105, one of my favorite fertilizer spreaders. Not only does this carry fertilizer, it carries lime as well, so makes it uh, more immersive. Uh, we also own the Amazon ZATS-3200. We also own a roller. That's very new. I've never seen a roller on one of these maps. That's new. We own the Dalbo, the Dal, the Dalbo uh, Maxi Roll 630 Green Line. For mowers, we own the Kuhn GMD 8730FF and the Kuhn GMD 3123F. For tatters, we own the Vicon Fanex 9, uh, 904. It's a nice tether right there, by the way, guys. It's a very, very nice tether. Uh, the wind drawers, we own a Sam, Samaz Z28840H. For forage wagons, we own the Pottinger Boss Alpine 251. So there's a lot of grass cutting on this on this uh, map in particular. Uh, I can tell now. Uh, bellers, we own the Massey Ferguson MF1840. This is one of the smaller bellers here. We also own a bell loader right here. The multi-pack D14 made by Arkison. Front loaders, we own the Hoyer XB150. Front loader tools, we have a bell spike made by Albert. Wheel loader tools, we have a silage fork made by Albert. 
And we also have a low loader trailer, the Rimmer Transport Wagon TB500S. And then weights, we own two Tim Winkle weights, uh, the Pack 750s, guys. All right, so there is our, there's that other way. Let's go back into the map here. Now, this is a pretty good size map, guys, as y'all can see. But let's see what we own by default. Okay. Okay, so we don't own any outer land, but we own a lot of land to begin with. That is awesome. I love that. Instead of owning like, you know, two or three fields by default, we now own one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields by default, which is going to be uh, 66, 68, 67, 85, 84, 86, and 90. And you own this part right here, which I have a feeling that is probably the main part of the farm right here as, as it is. It is the main part of the farm. We're going to hop over there real quick. Um, I, I'm trying to remember where we are. We're down by the vehicle shop, so let's find out exactly uh, where we are because I don't want to visit the same spot twice. So here's what we'll do. We're going to walk out here, and we're going to pop up, and this is going to be the vehicle shop right here, guys, where you're going to buy your stuff uh, for your farm, your tractors, trailers, subsoilers, cultivators, plows, all that good stuff. And this is where you'll bring and customize, paint, and repair your vehicles right there. Uh, so this is a, it's a very nice map so far. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go back into the map. And where are we at on the map? I cannot figure out. I'm trying to find the store icon. Is it down in this area? Where is the store icon? I do not see a store. I do not. Okay, right here we are. Right here we are. So over here is going to be the biomass heating plant. Let's go ahead and go over here and look at this. We'll go ahead and look at all the plants and we'll go to the main farm. This is going to be your biomass heating plant. Um, right here, this is going to be a sell point for your wood, I believe. Uh, here is a debris rock crusher. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, is this the one with the icon on the side of it? It is. I love this building. I don't know why, but it's got that wheat icon on the side of it. I love that. This is an actual sell point, I believe. I don't think this is production. Hey there, little deer. I don't think this is a production point. I'm going to look around for a gear here, but I don't see one thus far. Um, this is an actual sell point, ladies and gentlemen. So this is an actual sell point for your crop. Right there it is. Uh, let's go back into the map. And let's go over to... We've seen that. We've seen the debris crusher. Uh, let's see. Let's let's go over this way. So we're going to look at the grain mill and the cereal factory. Let's go to the grain mill. Uh, another production point here. Lots of production points. More than enough to go around, that's for sure. That's the... That's our mill right there. And then our cereal factory is right here, guys. Our cereal factory. There's two of your production points right there. Uh, let's head on over to the animal dealer. This is going to be our livestock right here. This is your animal dealer right here. Uh, this is gonna, probably going to be your bell sale point, I'm sure. Um, let's see here what those are exactly. Um, Ranging Reapers. So that's Farmer's Market. And this is your Moondogs Farmer's Market. So probably for your bells and stuff like that, your crop. Uh, let's head over to the spinnery right here. Ooh, that's loud. That is so loud. Let me turn my headphone volume down just a little bit, guys. So as you guys can see, like you said, there is plenty of room for forestry work out here. I mean, look at this, guys. If you, we drop down these trees, look at all these trees out here that you can cut down. Look at all this. There's a lot of them, guys. A lot of them. Uh, let's go ahead and pop back up. And uh, so, yeah, guys, there's a couple more of your production points right there. Um, let's hop back in here. Your animal dealer, I mean. Sorry, that was your animal dealer. And uh, I'm sorry, the spinnery. That was the spinnery, guys. Sorry about that. That was the spinnery we were looking at. All right, let's go to the great processing unit over here. Another production point. Yay, raw. <laughs> uh, another production point here, guys and girls. Very nice. It's, it's very nice. Now, this is the end of the map, as you can see. This is the end of the map. As a matter of fact, this would probably make a really good um, thumbnail right about... Right about there. We're going to use that for our thumbnail. Uh, all right, let's go back into the map. And let's head on over to... Let's head over to the sawmill. Let's go to the sawmill. Another production point here, guys. Um, I believe you got to buy this. Yep. And it you have to buy it with the money that you have right now. So a new farmer mode, you would have to spend all your money to buy that sell point. So, I, I mean, that, that production point. I don't understand the production points. I mean, I understand them. I just don't really care too much for them. So... Um, so back over here, we're going to head over this way. Let's go over to the bakery. Let's head to the bakery. Another production point right here, guys. There is your bakery right here. Filled full of beautiful sunflowers right here in front of us. I love the sunflowers. Um, and then we got, it looks like a filled full of corn right here. 
This is corn that is growing. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. My voice cracked. Um, I've got some water right here, so I probably need to take a drink. Let's go back to the map, guys and girls. Let's head on up to uh, Maple Maple Exports. And this is going to be another sell point. Looks like looks like a farmers market type building. Uh, yep, Johnson's Farmers Market. Uh, so this is an actual sell point right here, guys and girls. There is that. Uh, and let's head on up to. We do have some spots up here before we go to the main farm. I do want to visit those. Um, let's go up to, we've seen all this right here, the debris crusher sugar mill. We've seen all that. Let's go to the biogas plant. Let's have a look at this. Again, guys, you have to own this. Uh, and that's for $1 million. So uh, you're going to have to work your butt off to earn that. Uh, or you can use power tools and add the money to your account. That's, you know, I have a tutorial on how to make money on the game. Uh, I'll link it here if I remember to do so, guys. I have a tutorial on how to make easy money in fs22 and it's not what you might think it's a mod and you click three buttons that adds a million dollars your account just like that uh, i'll link that tool here if i remember to do so guys um this is the main farm so we're going to head on up to the oil mill it seemed like we already looked at this didn't we maybe that was the last map tour i just did <laughs> uh, another production point right there guys there's your oil mill and then we're going to head on over to the taylor shop <clears throat> Another production point here, guys. Too much production, man. I wish they would stop doing this. Um, so there's your production point, the Taylor shop right here. Now let's head on down to the main attraction of the farm of this of this map, which is going to be the main farm. All right, guys and girls. Um, so we're gonna right head on here. over to the sheep barn here. Let's go back to the main farm. So we're gonna just visit everything here in one shot. Uh, this is gonna be our sheep barn right here. Uh, let's go back to the map and see what we got. So we got a sheep barn. We got horses. We got cows. We got our farm silo there. Another cow barn here. We got a chicken coop and our farmhouse. So we're going to look at everything at once here. Let's go ahead. This is going to be our cow barn right here. Oh, this is our sheep. This is for sheep. I don't know why it took me to this. Uh, so this is for your sheep right here, guys and girls. Here's some of your equipment right here. Plenty of room for storage. As you guys can see, there's some of our equipment that we looked at. Um, I love the sound of this tractor. I love that old sound. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to have to take this thing for a spin just because I love this tractor so much. Um, I love the... Um, I don't like that it don't have hazard indicators. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Um, I love the lights in this thing. They look very nice. I love this tractor, man. I love it so much. Let's actually do our, our tour around the map like this guy's on this tractor. There's plenty of room. There's more storage right there, guys. There's some more of our equipment right back there with a small shed. Another shed right here with our wind drawer, our bell loader, and our mowers. Uh, right here is going to be an auto feed system for your cows. Um, I do have a tour, guys, on this auto feed system, which I will link here. Um, and then a little small shed right there. Uh, right here is going to be your manure heap for your cow. Right here is going to be for your cows, I mean. Right here is going to be your farm silo right here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, man, I love this tractor. I absolutely love this tractor. I really do. Um, over here is going to be more storage, guys. we got plenty of storage here, man. Plenty of storage. Very nice map. Um, and now, for those who may not know, these doors do open manually, okay? So the robot will open them automatically, but you can open these doors manually because the robot comes in from that angle he comes all the way down, makes a U-turn, comes back, and then starts feeding about uh, this point right here. He starts chopping the food. But you can open both of these doors manually, as you can see. Like I said, I do have a tutorial on this, uh, and I'll link it here in the video. Uh, let's go ahead and let's pop back up. And there is your main farm. Let's go over here. Um, do we have a silo bunker right here? Very nice. We've got a silo bunker. And uh, wait a minute, am I seeing two auto feed systems here on this map as well? As we did as we did the last one, there is two auto feed cow barns, two cow barns, both auto feed systems. So very nice. Um, I do like that. Um, we're starting to see some new stuff on these maps, which is really cool. I think that's really good when people put in new stuff. There's a small shed back here, guys, with your beller and your low loader right here, um, along with your horse barn right here. Let's jump in and believe these doors open up. They do. Come on, go back. Go back down. Go back down. You got to close some doors up. You going to close the doors, my man? There we go. 
Them triggers are mighty finicky sometimes. Uh, but that is pretty much it, guys. That is going to do it for this map tour uh, today. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click all so you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, this is CJ Farms. And one crop at a time, we are helping America grow. I will see you all in the next video. God bless you all and have an amazing day.